Hi, so uh, my name is Mihir Marate. Uh, JP. <laughs> I'm Justin. Justin Crack. Yeah. And uh, this is our 5760 uh, FPGA final project. Uh, the goal of this project essentially is to find a way to downselect from a previously collated database of head-related transfer functions. Now, a head-related transfer function is essentially a transfer function that characterizes the way in which your ears process uh, the binaural audio inputs that you hear uh, in, in a real-world setting. And so uh, UC Davis essentially has this massive online database of roughly 45 subjects with various transfer functions that correlate to different elevations and azimuths uh, and uh, have um, a, a decent GUI that lets them down select. But we wanted to create another uh, better platform that would allow people to essentially test different uh, al algorithms that could help identify uh, transfer functions that map to your specific head. Because because the HRTF is, is head shape dependent, dependent yeah. and there's no head shape information in the database. Right. Uh -huh. okay. And so uh, the FPGA side of this was essentially creating a sound card, uh, which could easily allow us to convolve these various impulse responses that UC Davis has collated with various uh, sounds that we can play and, and process into it, um, such that uh, you can hear something more interesting than just an uh, impulse, uh, or like a ding, basically, at different points around you. And so uh, we created this uh, GUI, essentially, and in addition to a sound card and a nice visual interface that let us downselect um, the appropriate transfer function per user. And, and, and the search algorithm is that you made a, a distance function between HRTFs that allow you to do some sort of reasonableness of nearest neighbors. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So we reduced the dimensions of the actual transfer function information, and then we did an MSE algorithm, as mentioned earlier, to find the distance between the different algorithms, and then had a distance threshold to say which ones are near each other, and did kind of effective like a quasi-cluster around each one. So you can say, here are the head transfer functions that are similar enough to the initial one. And then the user can input a initial kind of guess transfer function, and then we see is that is that one close to yours, not close to yours at all, or spot on? And if it's close, then we have this uh, potential candidate list of additional transfer functions that are similar characteristics to the one that you think is close to yours. Okay. And our, our closeness metric really is, is applied to subjects. So UC Davis right. collated these per subject, um, and so we needed to identify whether this person's head matches your head essentially as closely as possible. Yeah, and so we'll do a <coughs> brief test. Yeah. Okay, um, but 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 you're going to put it on the speakers, which doesn't really work. You really yeah, have it earbuds. Yeah, all purpose of the. Yeah. But the, but the speakers right, will, will stand in for the for the earbuds in this case. Sure. So okay. You can actually, put the speakers like around the. Around. You should hear some difference still. You just won't get that same around your head effect that you get if you were wearing speakers okay. or wearing headphones. Yeah. All right. And so. Uh, the, I think we'll just do a test. Uh, we won't actually show the downsampling because it won't be as uh, okay. interesting. Uh, we'll show a test first. So, so, so the, 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 the procedure would be that you would you would uh, allow the person to do the, the, the search, and then once you get a, a, a candidate, yeah. then you put in a test sequence, which is... It's a sound that you get to select. In our case, we have like a motorcycle sound, a person laughing and coughing, and a trumpet fanfare that will essentially uh, will, will, will change the azimuths around you so that it sounds like it's sound, the sound is moving around you. Got it. And if it's the right transfer function, it should essentially you should be able to spatially locate each sound as it goes around. You. Okay. So you're just going to put up the test, which. Right. Sorry test mode of the visual subject. For now, we'll pick subject 49. And now we want to hear, let's say, a fanfare. Oh, so it's like, you know, so it's like 100. So that's a tough one to do. I'll increase the game to see if we can do better. Yeah, I mean, so this way, that's exactly it. Right, and you can't get the effect on speakers, but yeah, but right. it, but it, when it's on your head, it sounds like it's orbiting you. Yeah. As a, just a brief GUI description uh, showing the downsampling process. Uh, if we were to downsample, for example, you'd have this uh, person named Gerald that we've named him, um, and. We actually play different uh, elevation and azimuth uh, points. In our case, we play four points as a down selection process. Uh, and you should be able to correlate what you hear to what you see on the screen. And so if I play the first sound, for example, 
which is like a doorbell. Uh, if you actually had speaker or headphones in, uh, you would theoretically be able to identify that this sound was above your face, uh, elevation-wise, and then roughly to your left. I like the face you. icons. Yeah. Very convincing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so this continues in an iterative process um, until you've found the right transfer function that matches your head. Cool. Yeah. All right. That's good. Thank you. Thank you.